in this lesson we learn how to uh, trim fillet and array Suppose uh, this is the uh, line interconnecting these two parallel lines. Uh, here I want to uh, delete this extra part from here or in between these two, this line or maybe this part or maybe this part from this intersection up to this end. So this trim tool is used for this purpose. So let's trim this one. Click here trim and then uh, whenever you will uh, move your cursor over any part which you want to trim it will fit uh, like this so if I want to trim this this person just click here it is trimmed again if I want to trim this part also it can be trimmed or this part or this part suppose I want to this trim this part click here and enter let's see another example suppose this is circle I can click trim I want to trim inside this part or outside this suppose this one is trimmed okay so this is how we need to trim and uh, next what I will discuss about uh, fillet so this fillet tool is used to uh, to reduce the sharp edge to reduce the sharp edge suppose as you can see this is the sharp edge so if we want to avoid this sharp edge then we need to use this fillet fillet tool so let's click here and whenever you will click here you will see here this radius because at a what radius you want to fillet this part so click here and specify the radius suppose 40 then enter now select first object first object and now select second object you can see now we have removed the sharp edge okay another one example let's draw a rectangle here I want to uh, 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 this uh, fillet uh, for all four corners so what I will do I need to click this fillet then here you can see the options polyline so click polyline this enter radius suppose 50 then enter and then select 2d polyline select this as you can see uh, all the four corners are done in a single command so this is the fillet function next we will move to this array function so 
what is ready to repeat any to repeat uh, any particular uh, object suppose uh, let's draw the circle first uh, not circle let's draw one rectangle over here okay now I want to draw this rectangle suppose uh, six numbers or ten numbers or multiple any any numbers of rectangles at a certain distance side by side and a uh, multiple row or multiple column as per my requirement I don't want to draw every time this rectangle at different location it will take a lot of time and also maybe erroneous to avoid this we uh, we can use this array tool so let's click array and select objects so let's select this object and then enter okay as you can see this array is created however uh, this is 4 by 3 we can change the number of rows or number of columns using uh, these boxes so this is uh, column so 1 2 3 4 suppose rows we want two numbers of rows then two numbers of rows okay now let's say uh, we want six six numbers of columns so like this we can draw the array suppose it is single row only so it will come as a single row so in this way you can change also in between distance here you can specify in between distance let's say 300 yes the spacing is increased and total this is 1500 let's say this total means from here to here so total is 1500 let's say 2 meter now total distance is 2 meter okay so in this way we can create array now close this array if you click here anywhere then the entire area will be selected and these options will uh, appear here now let's create uh, one uh, polar array to create this polar array we need to create suppose in a circular form okay let's uh, move this circle okay now uh, suppose I want to create one small circle like this suppose I want to draw um, I want to place this uh, this small circle small circle here uh, from this and this point this point this point like this but we cannot put in between or uh, any certain interval so for this to simplify to simplify this we need to use this polar array let's it is this all other things so uh, click here polar array and now select objects so you need to you need to select the object uh, where you want to put put this small circle so I need to select this one then press enter okay once again let's uh, click here ready then select the object here and then press enter and now it is asking for uh, you need to specify center point of array so I want uh, uh, this uh, this object 
to be put uh, along with this circle so uh, you need to specify the center okay done so this array is created now polar array is created so two four six total six numbers items here as you can see you can change from here also suppose I want total eight numbers or ten numbers so put here ten and press enter you can see total number of small circle is ten number so any number you can change from here so this is five numbers this is five numbers also you can change uh, now it is uh, spread over the um, entire circle that is 360 degree if I want to or uh, if I want to place all the all the small circles in one side only that means within 180 degree then you can specify here 180 degree press enter as you can see within this 180 degree this this five numbers small circles are there so in in this way in this way you can customize any number of circle so this is total number is 15 so it will come like this and press enter so this is how uh, you can create polar edit